they'll be teaching you how you can run Color Linux in AWS. And remember kids, before we get started, hacking is illegal. And if you get caught hacking, do not tell them you know who's Mr. Hacker Lloyd. And to tell me that the best hackers don't get caught. And right in front of us, we have Kyle Linux running. Once you're in Kyle Linux, go to the top left corner, go ahead and enter into your favorite browser. So in this case, we're going into Firefox. All you got to do right now is search. All right, search for, say, for example, in this case, AWS Management Console Locking. All right, so once you hit enter on that, first link that you get, go ahead and click on it. And once you clicked in right here, you can click on to the sign into the console. So once you're in here, okay, you can see right here, we have some interesting services running. So in this case, we are signing in to Hacker Loy. Click next on that. Now password. What is the password for Mr. Hacker Loy? You've been watching this YouTube channel for the longest time and you don't remember my password of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All you got to do right now is go ahead and enter the password. So in this case, let's enter it right here. Click sign in and let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there you go. All right, we are locked right in. This is the AWS console. So if you're seeing it for the first time, no worries. I'll be teaching you exactly what's going on in here. So all you got to do right now is click onto EC2. So Amazon EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. And this is literally your virtual server that you have running. What we are doing here now is to run this directly in the cloud of AWS. So if you click onto instances right here, you can see the following, right? So this is loyliangyoung.com that I'm running. You can see right here the instance states are running. In terms of its architecture, on the right side, you would have an EC2 that is running. All right, so in this case, we're running Kali Linux. And on the left side, all right, so this is Mr. Hacker Loy, will then be able to gain access into the specific virtual server that you're running. And what you need to do here is to set a port 22 that allow us secure shell access over into Kali Linux so that we can remotely control the server. And later on, if we want to do a remote desktop protocol, what we need to do right here in terms of RDP is 3389 port, all right? So this would then allow us and give the very nice graphical user interface for you to click around. And if you're ready now, let's go. So going back to the console, go to the top right corner and click on the launch instances. And once you're in here, you can give your instance a name, enter, in this case, I will enter Kali Linux Loy. And once I scroll down further, it states the following with Amazon machine image. So these are all the templates that we have that would have all of the software configuration, like the operating system, application server stack, whichever the case is. And all you got to do right now is enter Kali and it will search for the Kali Linux AMI. So you can see right here, we have AWS Marketplace AMIs. And the first result that pops up over here is the one that will be launching. So go ahead and select on it. And once you select on it, remember to go through, say for example, the pricing, all right, to look at all the product details and all this different information that we have right here so that you can take a look and understand what you are going to be subscribing into. Go ahead and click on to continue. You can see right here, we've selected the Amazon machine image. Next up, as you scroll down further, all right, you will see right here, we have the instance type. So it really depends how much more powerful you want the computer to be or the server to be. You can easily select that from here. So in this case, we're living to T2.medium. More CPU with more memory, can easily select on that and everything is going to be created for you so quickly you would not believe it next up over here all right we have the key pair for us to log in into the instance so go ahead and select on to create new key pair so in this case i'll enter the following i'll say for example kali linux loy all right so this is a key pair name so i already created it earlier all right so once you have that you can go ahead and click create key pair okay so what i'll do here is I'll enter Kali Linux followed by Hacker Loy as the new key pair name. And once you're ready, go ahead and click Create Key Pair. Okay. So once you have that, I will go ahead and save it over here, which is going to be in a desktop. Click Save on that. Done. Next up, what we have here is the network settings. So in the network settings, we want to be able to create, say, for example, a new security group for us. And remember earlier, I was showing you the architecture of things. So what you want to see here is the allow SSH traffic from 000 is very dangerous. So you'll be saying, well, why is this dangerous? For example, over here, we have in this case, Kali Linux running that has port 22 service open. And of course, an associated security group that also has port 22 open to the world, open to the internet. What do you think will happen? There are two things that can happen in this situation. First thing, 
is that a hacker could possibly launch what we call brute force attack, where they try different combination of passwords, previously exposed passwords, and so on, against port 22 if it's running on password-based authentication. Second possibility is if the service is vulnerable, right, and there are exploits available in the wild where a hacker could use or develop on their own, they could then take advantage of the software vulnerability and again, gain access right into the instance. You absolutely do not want that to happen. So pro tip right here, instead of SSH traffic, the whole of the internet, select my IP. So in that case, this is going to be significantly safer, unless of course, your computer is already hacked. So once you're done, scroll all the way down, look out for configure storage, all right, advanced details and so on. Once you're ready, go ahead and click launch instance in the bottom right, okay, you can see right here, creating security groups, subscribing marketplace AMI, and so on. And once we're done, we'll be able to gain access into the instance. You see right here, green, success, successfully initiated launch of instance. Go ahead and click on it, and it will bring us over into the instance detail page. So go ahead and select on it. And right here, we can see the instance state of pending. So once it's running, we can try do a secure shell session over into the target IP address that is open on the internet for our access. And once you see the instance state is running, we can now try to gain access to it through the secure shell service. All you got to do right now, select onto the instance, go and select connect. And over here, we can see the following web, secure shell client. And if you scroll down, we have the example here, which is SSH-I followed by the key you've downloaded and then with the following information. So let's go ahead and open up terminal. All right, let's zoom in a little more so it's easier for you to see. And what we want to do up a little is to change from root poly. So go ahead and hit enter on that. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? Absolutely. Enter yes. And what you want to do right now is states the following. Permission denied. It's because I am not yet in the directory. Let's CD over into desktop. Run the same command again. This is where Call Linux hackerloy.pem file is located. Hit enter on that again. Uh-oh, you know why? Because there is a chmort 400 that we need to add in for Kali Linux hackerloy.pm. And once you're ready, hit enter on that once more. That's it. Boom, you're in. I know what you're thinking. Can we have the beautiful graphical user interface that you're so used to? So absolutely, I'll be teaching you just that. First, go ahead and enter the following, which is sudo app update. So with that, later on, we'll be able to more easily retrieve all of those different type of software that we need in order to give us the beautiful graphical user interface. Mm -hmm. Done right here. Next up, we want to install our desktop environment. So let's go ahead and hit enter on that. And this is going to take a little while more because we have all those beautiful images, icons, it's all of that. So give it a while more for the completion of the download right here. And midway through the download, you'll see the following here, figuring keyboard configuration. All right, so go ahead and hit okay on that. That's the only time you ever be prompted. And right here, we're done with the download and the setup. Next up, we want to install XRDP service. All right, so go ahead and enter yes for that. Right here, once again, downloading, setting it up for us. Done. Now let us go ahead and add the user. sudo add user hacker loy. Hit enter on that. All right, adding user and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and enter a password. Okay, done. So name, hacker loy, of course. Room number, work phone, home phone, other. Is this information correct? Absolutely. Now we have added that in. Next up, we want to add the user to the XRDP group so that we're able to access the instance to remote desktop protocol. Hit enter on that. Done. So what we can do now is to go ahead and start up the service. So you enter sudo systemctl followed by start XRDP. Hit enter on that. And we can see right here, done. And if you want to check the status of it, you can just change into status and you can see right here we have the following of active running next up you can also go ahead and enter sudo systemctl start xrdp assessment done and once you're ready go ahead and enter our desktop followed by the ip address of the Kali linux instance hit enter on that and we can see right here we presented with the login to Kali. so let's go ahead and enter your username of hacker loy and the password once you're ready click ok and you'll be able to see some interesting information pretty soon. Uh huh. You can see right here, we are done. This is beautiful. Look at that. Call of Linux in AWS. I know the previous screen is pretty small. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and enter, of course, in this case, dash G1920 by 1080 screen resolution. 
And once you're ready, hit enter on that, and you can see a way bigger screen. So go ahead and enter your password, right click OK. And we can see right here, we are locked right in. This is beautiful. You can see all of those different types of applications that we have. We can enter terminal, emulator, and so on. This is beautiful.